Today, we're going to be doing something everyone should do when they get a brand new account. Now, guys, just trust me when I say this. It's going to make you significantly stronger throughout the entire game. And it gives you more health, defense, and all kinds of other good stuff. And that is because today, we are maxing out our hockey as a starter player. Now, actually doing this is not even going to be all that easy. It's going to be quite challenging. Because we're actually going to have to physically hit an enemy thousands, if not tens of thousands of times. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty difficult. Now, what I'm currently looking for starting things off is actually a weapon that hits very, very fast. Currently, I have the Cutlass, and as you can see, it slices pretty quickly, but we want something much, much faster because the faster your weapon is, the quicker you're gonna level it up. So get rid of the Cutlass. Get out of here. Now, from what I know, the Dark Blade is actually pretty good uh, at slicing fast, but it also makes you do this. I don't want to be doing that. I, I wouldn't just be standing still dealing a bunch of damage. So actually, Dark Blade, get the heck out of here. Get out of here, idiots. We're going to need something a little bit different. So yeah, we're going to have to hunt the world for the best starter item to actually do this. Now, for anyone wondering why I actually have the Magma Fruit right now, it's because just a minute ago, I rolled it with the Blocks Fruits Dealer Cousin. Because actually, for this video, a Loja type fruit is going to help you significantly. So guys, we're going to start off at the Starter Island because that is the first place you can actually buy a weapon. All right, let's see what we got right here sword dealer we got the cutlass already so let's get the katana i already own it oh my god now from my memory i think the katana might actually hit slightly faster so let's try it out it might be a little bit faster for now i'll stick with it it's fine but honestly i think we can do better than that all right let's see what do we have right here so here's a sword dealer so let's see dual katana it's 12k Ugh. here let's just buy it let's try it out okay so it's not hitting any faster guys it doesn't count two swords as like hitting faster okay let's just let's just keep it straight Right here okay these are just single hits it's exactly as fast as a regular katana honestly the triple katana might be really fast let's get ourselves a triple katana just to have a look all right mr sword dealer let's see we can get the pipe or the triple katana but i have a feeling that the triple katana will be pretty fast so let's try it out wait no we can't even use it it makes us move forward ah okay dual katana it is yeah guys the triple katana was a huge waste of money so the dual katana it is all right then now it's a time that we're gonna have to make a big decision so to do this glitch or it's not really a glitch it's mostly just a little bit of a trick um to do this it is the easiest in a private server now it's possible to do it in a public server but in general it's not advised because you can be killed and if you are killed uh yeah you're gonna just restart the whole process now something you can do is actually do this in a pvp safe zone like maybe the starter island there's a couple others where there's enemies and it's also a pvp safe zone so it is possible but i'd recommend just doing it in a private server because it just makes things 10 times easier. All right, boys, here we are. Now, now what we're going to be doing next up is we're going to be finding a group of enemies that is very close together, but cannot hurt us with our Logia abilities. Now, let's be honest here. Most of you guys should already have Logia powers in the first seat because it's by far the best here. So let's see, can these guys hurt me? Oh, look at you. You weak little idiot. You could be a great contestant. But as you guys can see, these guys are pretty spread out, which is not exactly what we're looking for. Now, these guys right right here they look a little more like it but they can kill me so uh we're gonna actually have to get like five levels uh and then we can actually take those guys on so let's do a little bit of leveling there we go baby 175 we can now take on the next set of enemies all right dark masters let's go now i think we're actually gonna have to do this quest one time uh to get enough uh levels to not get hit by them i think right now they could actually hit me <laughs> there it is baby we should now be safe <sighs> so with that it's about time that we start the process of gaining full body high so I think these two guys right here, they are by far the closest together. So let's see. I hope that hits him. Oh, it does. Oh, this is amazing. So yeah, guys, if we now just stand here spamming, as you guys can see, we're not doing a lot of damage. But every single time we hit one of these guys, it counts towards one point for our full body hockey because we are punching them with, an, with a hockey embedded sword. Now, there are a couple of rules to this. So for instance, if I hit them like this with my special powers, that doesn't count as a hockey point. It has to be a sword or your fist. So yeah, guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just start a little bit of a macro, which is nothing too crazy. It's just an auto clicker to just auto click punching one guy over and over and over again. And I'm going to go to bed now. I'm just going to see what I get to in the morning. I'm just going to stand right here doing this for a very long time. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.
All right, guys, so currently it's the next morning, and as you guys can see, I've been standing here slicing all night. Now, currently, uh, it kind of looks like nothing has happened. My arms... <laughs> Stage one. But if I actually want to see how much progress I have made, I'm going to have to disable my hockey and re-enable it. Now, like I said, I was AFK for the entire night. So if I'm not mistaken, it should be full body, but I don't know for sure. Come on, three, two, one, go! And there it is, baby. We have unlocked ourselves full body hockey, which gives us one extra damage and as well as that, just extra defense and all kinds of other good stuff. And uh, I mean, we also look like a bit of a bad boy, if you know what I'm saying. We're looking pretty cool. Now guys, not only just that, we actually gained like, I don't know, like 40 levels, 50 levels or something. Nothing too crazy. Honestly, if you compare how much time that would take me if I just did regular quests uh, versus uh, if I uh, stood here AFK for like 12 hours, it's probably more efficient to just do the quest. Okay, let's be honest. But I mean, definitely, the fastest way to get full body hockey oh my god look at those stat points guys okay, so we actually got 237 levels in our dual katana which is honestly pretty crazy pretty good stuff especially when you think about the fact that we're just killing random enemies in the first sea pretty nice so yeah guys um i don't really know exactly how the math works but if you look on the subreddit it says, it says right here for stage five full body hockey multiplies all damage taken by 0.90 Three, which means that I think you take 7% less damage, but I'm not fully sure about that. It's a kind of confusing math right there, but yeah, it definitely has an effect and you want to get yourself the full body hockey. So now that we've got it, it's about time that we do some customizing. Now, one thing that's actually kind of cool is that generally speaking, you will never see a person at level 200 with full body hockey quite yet. It usually takes a very, very long time. Now guys, if you actually go to the middle town right here, and I think there should be a guy i think in this building right here no this building yeah you can talk to the enhancement editor and it actually allows you to pretty much change what stage of hockey you're on so you can select level zero and now if i disable it and reactivate as you can see we're once again very weak but we still get all of the bonuses of full body hockey so yeah if you wanted to you can totally just look like a noob but be really quite a bit stronger than you look in my case though i just love the way it looks so i'm gonna go with the full body bang stage five give me that full body the effect baby now let's see what area we've actually unlocked right now because i i'm not fully sure oh we can start taking on the prison okay also quick side note we made a good amount of money from that we actually have we have 500 000 belly now which before we only had just like a little bit left but anyway sir i will set my spawn point here and we're gonna be taking on who's our next enemy 230 okay we need a couple levels before we can take him on oh wait no we can take him on the warden 220 Fresh. okay what up mr warden it is about your time to die. I'm glad we actually got ourselves the magma fruit because it is by far one of my favorite, especially when you get it awakened. It just becomes whew, really good. And there it is, baby. It's your time to die. Come on, give me 230. Oh. Well, that's fine, guys. In the next video, we're going to continue from where we left off. But yeah, guys, with that, I'm ending off today's video. If you haven't already, please do this while you're in the first seat. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. I'll see you later, boys. Peace!